In Nairobi, Kenya, over 200 protesters were arrested amidst demonstrations against proposed tax hikes outlined in a financial bill, which is set for a parliament debate. Protesters, uh, in fact, uh, were clad in black T-shirts and uh, were sounding whistles. And uh, vuvuzelas marched towards the parliament, amplifying their dissent through online campaigns. The city saw businesses closing doors amid police pursuits and sirens, and the government responded to the outcry by rescuing some uh, taxes, including those on bread, though opposition lawmakers dismissed this as a superficial gesture. The unrest reflects mounting dissatisfaction with President William Ruto's administration, exacerbated by economic challenges across Africa. Akshit, my colleague, is joining us once again to uh, give us his thoughts on uh, what's happening here. Akshit, Kenya, of course, uh, distraught with these protests at this point in time, and the economic situation is also going from bad to worse in the country. Akshit, if you're there with us. All right, those are visuals coming in from Kenya. The president of Kenya is facing a severe backlash because of inflation and taxes and price hikes and the unemployment situation in Kenya is deteriorating by the day. And Kenya has been on the boil since a very long time. There have in fact been concerns which have been shared by the IMF as well as the United Nations when it comes to the peace, security and stability of the country in the last few years. People have been arrested, human rights uh, violations have uh, been rampant and this new equation is uh, or rather has uh, the ability and the uh, leaning to destabilize the entire African continent. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.